Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin to create the extra products options or product add-ons on a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example of extra product options. This is a product on the website and here I have the option. It is going to ask you whether it is a gift. If I select yes, you will see different options. Here, customer can enter the message that you want on the gift card. So you're going to add a gift card along with this product. When the customer select the option yes, it is going to add 50 rupees to this product. Gift option will cost 50 rupees extra. If you are selling gift wrap, customer will be able to select different color wraps also. So these are the color swatches that you can add to the product. If you want to add box, you can also add box type, carryover box or regular box. So customer will be able to select which box they want to add. If you want to add extra price for the box, you can do that also. Whether you want to print image on the t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt product and you're asking the customer whether they want to print an image on the t-shirt. So if they select yes, there will be an option to upload the image. So customer will be able to select the image and they can upload the image here. So the owner will get the image and the owner will be able to print the image on the t-shirt. So this is file upload option. Now here is another option. They can select the date and time. So here I have created an option, delivery option, deliver to my address or pick up from store. So if I select pick up from store, I can select date and the time also. So this product extra options has the feature to add the pickup date and the time. I have just mentioned it as pickup date and time. It can be for anything. So if you want to select the date and time, you can add that also. So here you can add extra amount for the printing also. Right now you can see that it is set to yes and the extra amount total is 100 rupees. If I select no for the printing, the amount will reduce to 50 rupees. So we have added 50 rupees extra if the customer wants to print the image on the t-shirt. So if I select yes, right now it is set to 50. If I select yes, you will see the extra subtotal is 100. So here you can add extra product options to the WooCommerce product and you can generate extra revenue by selling these extra options. This is a free plugin and definitely there are some limitations to the free plugin. I do have the pro version of this plugin. I'm going to install the pro version also and I'll show you the difference between the free and the pro version plugin. The plugin is very easy to customize. You can add different extra options to different products and different product categories. This is the dashboard. Here you can create different options. You can have different actions. You can add extra amount for each action. And there are different option types such as text, number, checkbox, radio button, button, swatches, drop down list, date picker, time picker and file upload. Not all the options are available for the free. Some of them are for the pro. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now I'm going to install the free plugin to create the product extra options on your WooCommerce website. So we will start with the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro plugin. So let's go to dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for WooCommerce. WooCommerce extra product. And this is the plugin that we are going to install EI Extra WooCommerce Extra Product Options. And this is developed by EI Commerce. And this is the free version that we are going to install. So the name of plugin is EI Extra. Click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated. Now go to WooCommerce and here you will see the option EI Extra. Click on it. So this is the dashboard of the EI Extra and now we are going to create the extra options. So this is the first option, option sets, customize and settings. So if you go to settings, you will see the settings of this plugin. These are mostly for the pro options. Customization, this is also for pro options. 
So I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's go to option sets and we are going to create the first option. So click on add new option set. Here you can add the name. So I'm going to start with the gift item. So this will be the name of this option set. And let's add some description. It is not necessary. You can add the description. And I'm going to save the changes. So we have got the name of this option set. Here you can go to options. So what options do you want in this option set? So let's start with the add new options. First of all, we are going to ask the customer whether it is a gift item. If they say yes, then other options will pop up. So first we will need to confirm whether the product is gift or not. So I'm going to click on this option first and the name will be like, is it gift? And make it required. So people will need to, customer will need to mention whether it is gift or not. And this will be a radio button. Okay, with the option yes and no. So let's go to option values. Click on the first option value and make it yes. This value will be yes. And another value will be no. So we have two radio button options, yes and no. So initially no option will be selected. So they do not want to mark it as a gift item. If they want, they can select yes option. Okay, so these are the two options we have added here. This is the first question that we are going to ask. Let's save the changes. Now, if they say yes, and if they want this product to be as a gift, then you are going to add some price also. Okay, we will do that later. We will add the price later. We will assign one product so that I can show you option will look on the actual product. So here you can go to products. If you want to assign this gift option on a particular category, you can also select the category. You can assign this option on all the products from the same category. So here you will see all the categories. So I'm going to select T-shirt. So it will show all the products from the T-shirt category and all tags leave it as it is. So I want to show this gift option to all these T-shirts. So I'm going to select all the T-shirt options and set as assigned. So all these T-shirts will show this option whether it is a gift or not. Okay, let's save the changes. And let me show you how does this actual look on the product page. Before that, we need to activate it so that it will be shown. So we have got this activation and we have assigned the products. Now let's go to one of the products here. Let's refresh it. All right, so it is not showing yet. Now let's go back to UI Extra. This is the first option set. We need to mark it active. So now it is activated. Let's refresh it. Now here you will see the option. Is it gift? Yes or no? Yes, no. So right now we have not created any other option. So it's not going to make any change here. They can select yes or no. Now let's go back to this option set. And let's create another option. When the yes is selected, we want them to enter some message. If it is a gift, then add some gift card message. So if we have added new option, click on it and name it as gift card message. So people will be able to enter the message, mark it as required. And this will be a text box. Okay, there is no other change required. Now you need to add conditional logic here. So this message box will apply, will be shown only when is it gift is selected to yes. If it is selected to no, it's not going to show the gift card message. So here you will see the condition is it gift. This option is yes, then only it will show. You can hide or show. So we want to show it. Let's save the changes. Let's go back, refresh it. So it is selected to no. I'm going to select yes. And now you will see this option here, gift card message. So customer will need to enter the gift card message. Now we are going to add another option for the gift wrapping. So let's click on add new option and name it as gift wrap color. So we are going to add some colors here, mark it as required. 
and under text if you select the option type you will see different option types here available these option types are available for pro when we will install the plugin the pro plugin i'll show you how does this work so as of now i'm going to select swatches so that we can add some colors there go to option values and click on add option value so from here you can select the color name it as blue the first one is blue set as default let's add second red here you can click on it and select the red color let's add one more green select the green color so we have added three different colors let's go to conditional logic and add the condition so this option will show only when is it gift is set to yes otherwise it is not going to show the option save the changes let's go back and refresh it so uh, if i select no all the options will go if i select yes gift card message and this gift color option is available all right now let's add one more option click on add new option go here and from here we can add another option let's say button and do you want gift box and from here i'm going to add two options carry over box whatever options you want to mention you can mention there let's select set it as default add more and more option regular box so it will be packed in the box go to conditional logic add a condition only if it is yes save the changes go back refresh it now here you will see another option do you want a gift box they can select this one or this one i just want to show you how does this work that's why i am selecting different options here all right so we have got four different options now we are going to add an action here when the customer select the option yes it is a gift then we are going to add some extra charges so here go to actions and click on add new action set click here and if match any of these conditions so we are going to add one condition is it gift is set to yes so if it is a gift item then here you will see then then do all these actions so we are going to add action we are going to add the fee let's say i'm going to add extra 50 rupees right now this website is in indian rupee you can add your own currency charges here the pricing here and here i'm going to name it as gift pricing so this will be an additional 50 rupees will be charged when they select the, all these options let's click on save changes let's go back refresh it Okay, now let me add this product to the cart and let me show you how does this work so let's say a happy birthday is the message this color this box add to cart okay so the product has been added to the cart this is the original price let's go to view cart and let me delete this one so this is the product in the cart and you will see this is the original price and this is the extra price gift wrap pricing so we have added 50 rupees here now let me install the pro plugin and we will see how to use the other pro options so let's go to plugins and click on add new meanwhile let me show you the website this is the website ei extra woocommerce extra product options pro and the pricing of this plugin is 59 dollars a year one time pricing is 199 and this is the yearly pricing if it is a yearly plan that doesn't mean that you cannot use it after a year you can definitely keep on using this plugin after the yearly plan only thing is that you will not get any update after one year okay so this is the pricing and you will see all the features here i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link if there is any extra coupon or any extra discount i'll mention that in the description box also let's go back to the dashboard and click on upload plugin i have the plugin downloaded so this is the plugin click on install now click on activate plugin all right so we have got the ei extra plugin activated this is the free plugin and this is the pro plugin all right let's go back here you will see 
WooCommerce, go to EI Extra. This is the option set that we have created and these are the settings. You will see all the pro settings are available now. Show additional price text on the option value. Show extra subtotal on the product page. So these options are available now. Now let's go to the option set and we are going to add some extra options there. So this is the same option set. Let's go to options. We have these options here. Now let's add one more option. Now we want to ask the customer whether you want to print something on the t-shirt. So let's see here. I'm going to ask the question. Do you want to print image? And we are going to add some, uh, we are going to add two radio boxes again. Yes and no. Yes. And the other option will be no. And the default option will be no. Right. Let's go to conditional logic and we are going to apply the same logic only if it is a gift option. Let's save the changes and let's add one more option. When the customer select, yes, I want to print an image on the t-shirt, then they will need to send an image for the printing. So we are going to add another option here. Upload image file. It will be required only if the option is set to yes. And here you will see the option upload file upload so customer will be able to send you the image file advanced settings and conditional logics now here we are going to change the conditional logic this option will be available only when do you want to print image is yes if the customer selects no you do not need to show this option click save changes let's go back to the product page let me go to the product. Let's open one of the products here. All right, let's select yes. Now you, you will see message, color, box. Do you want to print the image? Right now it is set to no. And now here you can see the extra amount that we have selected when the option is set to yes. The 50 rupees option is shown here and total price is also shown here in the free version the total amount was shown on the checkout page now here you will see the extra subtotal is shown on the product page itself so now we are going to select yes i want to print the image select yes and now you will see the option is available from here they can select the image and the image will be uploaded all right now let's go back and we are going to add another action here. Let's add another action. If they want to print the image on the t-shirt, you need to charge them extra. So for the printing, you will be adding extra 50 rupees. So let's go to add condition. And do you want to print image is set to yes. Then add 50 rupees extra for printing charges. Okay, so 50 rupees will be added as a printing charge. Click save changes. Let's go back, refresh it. Now here you will see it is the extra subtotal is 100. If I select no, it will be 50. If I select yes, the 50 rupees will be added and the extra subtotal will be 100. So this is how you can add the extra pricing here. Now let's go back to options. Let's see what else we can add here. Here we have date picker and time picker. Let's see how we can add the date picker delivery options. Let's add delivery options. If customer wants the product to be delivered to the home or the address, they can select the option send to my home. And if they want to collect the product from the store, they can select the option collect from store. So we are going to add two different options here, delivery options. And we are going to add two radio buttons again. First option will be deliver to my address. It will be set as default. And the second option will be pick up from store. We have these two options. Add conditional logics. Add logic is it if it is a gift, then we can have this option here. 
save the changes. Now, when the customer wants to pick up from the store, we need to add some date and time so that the customer come to the store and pick up the gift on that particular date and time. So the customer is going to inform you when the customer is going to pick up the product. So let's add new option here and add pickup date. And I'm going to select date picker option here, conditional logic and conditional logic delivery option is set to pick up from store. So only when the customer is going to pick up from the store and we need to make it required. And after that, we need to add the time also. Let's mention it as pickup time. And from here, select time picker, conditional logic, the same conditional logic. If delivery option is set to pick up from store, right? Let's click on save changes. Let's go back and refresh it. All right, so now here you will see the delivery option. Right now it is set to deliver to my address. I'm going to change it to pick up from the store. And now here, here you will see the option pick up date and pick up time. So they can select the date and they can select the time also. This is the current time now, okay? Or they can mention the time here. Let's say 1800, that will be 6 p.m. This is how they can change the time. So if they want to pick up the gift from the store, they can come to your store at the fixed date and time and they can pick up the product from the store or they can let you deliver the product to their address. Now let me add this product to the cart and let's see how does this actually look on the cart. So this is the product and I'm going to select this option. Is it gift? Yes. And I'm going to add the message. So this will be the message for the gift card. I'm going to select this color red and I want this box carry over box. So this option is selected here. Do you want to print the image? So I'm going to select yes. And here I'm going to browse the image. So click on browse. This is the image. Let's select this one, click open. Now for the delivery options, I'm going to select this option, pick up from the store. Let's select one date. This is the date and let's add some time here. So this will be the time and here you can see the extra subtotal 100 rupees, 50 rupees for the printing and 50 rupees for the gift wrap. So let's click on add to cart and go to view cart. In the cart, you will see all the options here. Is it gift? Yes. This is the gift message. This is the wrap color, the box type carry over box do you want to print do you want to print the image yes and this is the delivery option pick up from store the pickup date and pickup time and here you will see the upload image file so this image file will also be sent to you to the owner here you will see the subtotal that is 50 rupees for the gift wrap pricing and 50 rupees for the printing charges and if i place the order all the information will be sent to the owner so these are the product add-ons or you can say product extra options you can set up on your product using this free and pro plugin. So the free plugin has limited options. If you want to add more features, you can go with the pro plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy it, you can use my link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.